Hi. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Bailey M. Stewart. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is another Alphalete try on haul. This launch I'm super excited about because Amplify is back in new colors. So I'm gonna be showing you everything launching. Surface is also restocking. I wouldn't really say this is a new launch because this color, the oil stain, and these items have launched in the past. So it's just kind of like a restock. Don't forget you guys can use my code Bailey to save money at checkout. Again, thank you so much to those that do use my code. Please let me know so I can say a huge thank you for using it. It does support me, it helps me continue Continue to put out these videos for you guys if you're getting anything for yourself for your girlfriend for your boyfriend because they have men's items too use that code Bailey at checkout to save money but anyways let's get into the haul so I can show you everything launching on August 6th at 12 p.m. CST um, I unfortunately only got one item from the surface I don't know what happened to the others I think they're coming later and it'll probably get here after the launch so I'll just be telling you the items launching in this collection quickly I do have women's surface power short five inch in the black oil stain print and this is a size small so I believe that this there is a difference from these last launch they are now five inseam so a little bit longer the other ones were either 350 or 450 inseam these are now five the crossover waistband Material is the exact same as the other surface material. It's just the black oil stain print, which they have launched before. I actually didn't get anything from the first launch of this print, sadly. So I am waiting, hopefully, for the leggings to come because I know the main leggings I wanted were the power, or I believe they're called the power ones. They have the crossover waistband like this button leggings. Those are my favorite leggings from the surface collection. So if you're gonna get any of the oil stain, I recommend those. However, I know a lot of people like the shorts. I just don't find these to be that flattering on the glutes. They roll up. Yeah, I'm just not crazy about shorts unless it's like Amplify Biker, to be quite honest, or the Kinetic Pulse Biker. I love those, those make the glutes look crazy. The shorts will be launching in oil stain and just regular black. And then there are, again, the Surface Power Leggings, 27 inch in the black and oil stain. And I prefer that style rather than the Surface Pocket Leggings. They have it in 27 and 29 inch. It's got a flat waistband so it doesn't cross over. I like the crossover detail as I find that it kind of cinches in the waist. And then they have the um, Surface Limitless Bra in black, white, and oil stain. And then the Women's Surface Altitude Bra, black, white, and oil stain again. And this is like a long line tank almost. And then they have the Women's Surface Tri Bra. This is honestly, to be honest, my least favorite out of the three. I just, I don't know, I never liked the fit. I always found them, even in an extra small, to be a little too big because the straps. But this one has three straps in the back. It comes in again, the black, white, and oil stain. That is all for the surface. We will move on into the Amplify. But there are only three items in the Amplify coming out. Sadly, no biker. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> one day we will get biker. One day. The Amplify shorts and 450 in seam. And then the women's Amplify leggings. And then the women's seamless v-neck ss crop so it's a little bit different i will show you the difference from the normal short sleeve crop amplify crops to this one it's mainly the neckline and then a little bit of contour detail on the right here first we'll do shorts um sadly we were only able to pick out um a few items so i couldn't get all of the colors to show you so Sadly, I did not get hazelnut, which is the tan color, very similar to not gold. So there is whale blue, washed denim, misty lilac, blossom, and hazelnut. I got in the shorts only two colors. I feel like these colors are going to look so good on so many different skin tones. And I hope in the photo shoot, I haven't seen any campaign, like, I don't think they've shot the products yet, at least while I'm filming this. I haven't seen these sneak peeks on Alphalete, but I definitely hope the models and like, yeah, the models and athletes I get is diverse. Um, I know for me, hazelnut probably would have looked like my skin, so I would have looked naked from a distance, but on someone darker skin tone, it wouldn't look that way. 
So hopefully that is represented and shown in the photo shoots and the models. Hopefully they have different size models. Um, yeah, because I know like Blossom and me kind of like from afar did kind of look like my skin tone and I think Hazelnut would as well. I got it in Misty Lilac and then Blossom, but here is the Misty Lilac. It's like a light purple. The waistband's got the three tier. Again, the gusset, the seam is the four, a little bit thicker, slightly different from the old scrunch as we know. Now let's talk material. At first, I thought the collection was gonna feel like Bloom, the Bloom Frozen, Spl Frozen <laughs> Spring launch. And then I compared like the, this pair of shorts that I have, I'm not kidding. Here's my OG, the OG material, which is Viola. I don't know if it's just the short or what. It feels so similar, like the closest fabric we've had in a while to the OG material. It's thicker than the Bloom. This one's very spandexy, almost pantyhose-like material feeling. Um, very thin. This one feels a little bit thicker. And you know how the OG material is a little bit more stiff? I don't want to say scratchy, but like it has that stiff, sturdy material. These especially feel that way. So these, yeah, in my opinion, are size-wise and material feel most similar to the OG ones. Because I know like my Viola and like my Silver Sky, my Ivy, they run smaller, in my opinion, than the newer collections like that have previously launched. Like these are always a lot tighter on me, like my OGs, than any of the newer ones. And I find that these fit the same as like Viola and Silver Sky. So I definitely don't think you have to size up in this collection at all, especially when I compared the waistbands. I definitely feel like this one's a little bit more snug. So you can definitely size up, stay true to size if you do like a tighter fit. However, I would not size down because this collection is a little bit tighter than previous ones, so I'm not gonna lie. If you have been waiting for a fabric, obviously this is still a little bit thicker than this one, but I kid you not, rubbing them together feels exactly the same. Whereas these two, this one's thinner and more spandexy slick feeling. This one has a more sturdy, stiff, feel just like the viola so if you've been waiting for the material to be more similar to the og material um i would definitely snag this i especially noticed it in my shorts it has a more stiff moral like material similar to the og um the leggings a little bit more slick but still nowhere near as slick and spandexy feeling as the bloom frozen spring cheeky coral like those were very slick and stretchy same with the ombre does not feel like the ombre doesn't feel like the bloom it's definitely a sturdier material which i love and i'm so excited about however the scrunch is still different a little bit more noticeable because it's slightly thicker i feel like it just sits a little different than how the older scrunch used to like here's viola scrunch compared to the new scrunch this is misty lilac and then here's Viola. So as you can tell, it's a little bit thicker. The, um, it's still four seams. However, this one has like horizontal lines on it and this one's just four thick vertical ones. I don't know, I feel like this one is a little less, like you couldn't really tell there was a scrunch, but this one, you can kind of see the scrunch. I feel like it goes a little bit higher up almost. Squat proof, um, I am wearing blue in the try on like a blue thong like a bright blue thong i don't recommend wearing cheeky brief whatever because you will see the lines so i recommend a thong in these i personally don't like going commando but to each their own this one was a little bit less sheer than the blossom however um even though i was wearing underwear you could see the line like the the line not like the out the v outline but like the line in the middle and I was like, why am, why am I saying that? I don't know. And it was only in these, so I don't know. You kind of see the blue only very subtly. However, when I wore my skin tone seamless thong, um, I had no issues. Here is the cheeky coral. Again, 
450 inseam. They still roll up on me. However, I know people who are a little bit shorter have no issues with them rolling up, but that's because um, if it doesn't hit the thickest part of your thigh, they will roll up. I know when I'm working out, they roll up. I'm wearing a small, and I'm not gonna lie, these fit a little bit tighter than like the French blue restock. Like the, cause again, these were like a slicker, stretchier, spandexy feel and these are closer to the og and those to me were tighter fitting and yeah so i do i do like the fit however i probably should have gone to a medium instead of a small and i am wearing blue bright blue i feel like if you stretch the fabric you can kind of see it however honestly not much tummy control really good normally smalls um there's a there's not as much compression, but like I said, this collection I feel like definitely runs smaller. So size up. If you don't like super tight leggings. The back detail. As you guys know, I love bright colors. I love this collection because I feel like they're just so flattering on the glutes. Even though it is the older, I mean the new scrunch and a little more noticeable, it's still very flattering to me. Yeah, okay, let's see squat proof. I'm also a 5'4 for reference, and this is where they hit me like above fingertip length. I prefer, again, the 7 inseam of bikers just because I feel like for shorter girls, you can still roll, you can roll up the bikers to make them a little bit shorter. However, if you're taller or like you have no option but for them to be like, I feel like length options are definitely needed because not everyone feels comfortable having like this much skin out. And when I'm working out, it gets even shorter, so patiently waiting for bikers to come back. Okay. I'm gonna compare colors of the Misty Lilac versus older shades. So here is Misty Lilac, Viola, and then Blossom passive purple with all these colors get lavender ozone so if you have this top this would be cute to even mix blossom with the other shades here's blossom held up against misty lilac just to see the color difference if you want one or the other like you don't want both just to kind of show you blossom viola so again, Viola has a more purple hint to it. Acid purple, definitely a darker shade. Even mixing these two would be super pretty. And then Blossom to Bloom. This is a more neutral, lighter shade than Bloom. Hot pink, I don't know. I think all these color combos would be super cute. So next we'll move on to the leggings. Leggings. I don't know, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like each color, the material feels slightly different um, because this one is my, my blue, which is washed denim. Feel, it has that marl stiff, or similar to the OG fabric. It's still slightly thinner than my OG ones, but it has that same feel. But the Misty Lilac leggings Feel a little bit thinner, more stretchy, spandexy, soft feeling, like not as stiff. So um, I'm not gonna lie, that confuses me a little bit because my shorts in Misty Lilac feel so similar to Viola, but my leggings, these feel stretchier, more soft and spandexy feeling, kind of like the newer launches. So I don't know if like, it varies per color, per item. Leggings come in whale blue, wash denim, misty lilac, blossom, and hazelnut. They are 51% polyamide, 38% polyester, 11% spandex. And again, here's the washed denim. 
I love this blue. I'll compare these to blue. Um, I think the closest shade, honestly, is Blue Moon to wash denim. Obviously, it's not ombre. This one's a little bit more vibrant, but like, I feel like it's very similar. And here is French Blue and Wash Denim. And then this one is Ice Blue. I only, I can't find the shorts. But yeah, Wash Denim, Ice Blue. Here is Wash Denim and then Arctic Blue. I think compare, like pairing these two together would be very cute. And here's Pear Blue. I believe this is, I will have the name on the screen. I, I cannot remember. Um, this is Darkest Pine, more green shade, but I just wanted to compare all of them. Next color is the Whale Blue, which is the darkest shade. I'm a more bright colored gal, so I lean more towards the lighter shades. However, if you like a darker color, this one is very, very pretty. Here is Whale Blue compared to whatever this color is called. I will have it on the screen. This color on the screen, I just can't remember off the top of my head. The darkest pine again more green i don't have dark darkest water or is it dark water that shades heavy i don't have that color to compare i am sorry and then here's arctic blue i don't even know if i should be comparing the super light colors because i feel like they're clearly clearly not similar and then here's pear blue french blue and then blue moon has the more stiff material like whale blue i this fabric is definitely thicker sturdier more that moral material than older launches i definitely again feel like sizing is smaller the waistbands i will show a clip or a photo the waistbands do vary in the leggings per color i'm not gonna lie now this one doesn't have that moral look as much as the lighter shades do however it still feels that stiff material and then here is blossom leggings i wore these when i was visiting my aunt and uncle doing some yard work i absolutely love these the lighter shades especially the these two do show sweat however it does dry really quick like as soon as i looked down after i had seen it in a few minutes like it was fine and we're all sweating at the gym some people I know don't like it. It doesn't really bother me if I have crotch sweat or whatever. Because I know I'm at the gym, I'm working out, other people are sweaty. But the lighter shades definitely will show. However, this material dries quickly. I had been asked how to wash them. I wash them inside out. Kind of like how I wash my Lululemon. Very delicate, um, inside out, similar colors. And then I leave to hang dry. Be very careful because I feel like this material definitely can pill. Again, this shade is the most, actually, hazelnut might be the most sheer, but I don't have that color to compare. Um, but this one's probably second. I feel like they're probably the same, but I can't say because I don't have it. This is probably my favorite color from the launch. This one, or Misty Lilac, they remind me the most of Viola, which is my favorite, fa that and Silver Sky, favorite pair of amplifiers I own. I wear them all the time. These just remind me of them. I feel like this one especially is like the closest they have had. I definitely feel like these shades are going to sell out quick. Um, there's no dupes on them. There's nothing really out there like these, in my opinion. So I definitely think this color will sell out quickest. Hazelnut probably will because pair, I don't know. I just think that's a good staple neutral that you can pair with so many different things. Pair with so many different pinks and like amplified tops that you already have. They don't have any colors like this, so, and plus this is the closest fabric, in my opinion, that we've had in a while that is closest to the OG. I'm not saying it's exactly like it, but like the stiffness, the, it's a little bit thicker than my bloom, um, pure blue. I love it. And here's the Misty Lilac leggings. Again, the moral look. These, yeah, something about these two shades just feel more slick spandexy soft feeling than the darker ones and like the shorts i don't know maybe i'm a little crazy i wish these came in bikers you guys already know now we'll move into the tops They're slightly different i only got wait i got 
three. I got three of the tops. Well, I guess we'll start with this one. This one is Blossom. It's the light pink. But see how the neck, it is a V-neck, so it goes down, excuse me, into a dip. You can kind of see my sports bra underneath it, so it's a little bit, oh, excuse me, sheer. And then there is this contour detail that isn't on the other ones. It's got like this breathable square right here. The ribbed band right here is a little bit tighter, more compressive than this one. I'm wearing a small. I always get a small. Sizing, I would say is a little the same however again right here i feel like has a little bit more compression than this one which is the hot pink this one it does not have a v-neck it doesn't have that contour detail right down here it does have the band but this one's a lot stretchier less like restricting however i don't mind this i still think it's super comfortable it's not as restricting as like the ozone tops those were just can't even get over your head i don't mind the v-neck i think it's doesn't bother me at all. It's not like an awkward, like, why is that a v-neck, not a new, normal scoop? So, yeah. If you like these, I think you will like these just as much. So, as the old ones on the back. Yeah. I also got it in misty lilac, size small. Super pretty. Got the little v-neck dip contouring down here. And there is no built-in bra with these. These are very thin, lightweight fabric. So, I mean, I've seen some girls wear no bra with them. I personally don't like doing that. So I will be wearing a bra underneath. Um, but if you need more support, you will probably have to wear a bra underneath as well because there's, there's no support. It's not like the ozone tops that have a built-in bra. It's like the normal Amplify, which is just like a lightweight top to throw on over your sports bra. And the, my last color in whale blue, just because I didn't have a short sleeve darker color like this and I could mi mix and match. So I feel like com combining it, these two shades would be super cute. Also vice versa, if you wanna get the light top, pair it with the whale blue leggings, super cute. As a set, again, it's the exact same, just like a darker blue. A more muted tone it's got the darker blue seams it is everything that i got hopefully i answered everyone's questions um always feel free to reach out dm me comment some questions down below i will try to get back to you guys before the launch again it's happening august 6th at 12 p.m cst you guys can use my code bailey at checkout to save you money please let me know if you use my code just so i can say a huge thank you Y'all support means so much and it helps continue to put out these videos for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.